everyone, this is Brandon with Everyday EV, and this week is finally CES 2022. And if you don't know what CES is, it stands for Consumer Electronics Show, and it's hosted every January in Las Vegas. Now this year is going to be a little different just due to the pandemic. We are going to see a lot more uh, virtual unveilings as well as more virtual events. But CES this year is running from January 5th through January 8th. And this video is just going to be a overview of what to expect when it comes to electric vehicles as well as electric vehicle charging at this year's CES. So I'm gonna break this video into two separate categories. The first one is going to be electric vehicle unveilings and some of the vehicles that you can expect to see at this year's CES. And then the second part of this video, I'm going to talk about some electric vehicle charging and what to expect as well. So let's start off with some vehicles that you can come to expect. The first one is going to be the Chevy Silverado EV. And now electric pickup trucks are going to be a hot market. Obviously we saw all the excitement with the Ford F-150 Lightning. Uh, we have the Tesla Cybertruck hopefully being delivered this year as well as other companies making electric pickup trucks. So this is gonna be very exciting to see, especially as GM and Chevy expands more into electrification. So as of right now, not much is known about this Chevy Silverado EV except that it should be riding on GM's new Altium battery platform that we're seeing in vehicles like the Cadillac Lyric, the GMC Hummer EV, and this should offer a range of between 300 and 400 miles on the Silverado EV, which is super exciting. Uh, we should also see a few different drivetrains. Uh, we should see a single motor, a dual motor, and possibly a tri-motor setup. Uh, just based on what we're seeing in other GM electric vehicles. So super exciting. Uh, one thing we do know is that it will be riding on 24 inch rims and it should offer uh, rear steering as well to help with maneuverability. So that's super exciting. And the Silverado EV should be unveiled on January 5th. So keep an eye out for that one. So another uh, unveiling that is going to happen at CES is actually another brand developed by General Motors. This is a company called Bright Drop. And now this is a company that is offering logistic solutions for companies using electrification, whether that's in electrified delivery trucks or what they're calling e-pallets, cloud software, and a connected ecosystem of technology to help businesses develop more efficient logistics. So Bright Drop before 2022 actually successfully delivered five electric delivery trucks, which is super exciting. Congratulations, Bright Drop. And this year we are going to be seeing more demonstrations at CES from their e-pallets as well as their connected cloud systems. So pretty excited about this one. Uh, the technology behind Bright Drop, especially their delivery trucks, are using that Altium battery platform that I talked about with the Silverado EV. Uh, so this is exciting and I definitely think this is a game changer. So keep an eye out for Bright Drop at CES. So the next vehicle that's going to be unveiled at CES is the Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX concept. And now, as I mentioned, this is a concept, but Mercedes is really focused on electrification. So we probably could see this vehicle go into production soon. The EQXX is highly focused on efficiency, as you can see by the silhouette of this concept. It's very aerodynamic, and in fact, Mercedes-Benz is looking to achieve a full total range of 620 miles. If they can do that, that would be the first electric vehicle on the market to hit that range, so that's super exciting. Um, they are also targeting a goal of 200 miles per gallon equivalent, which would pretty much be the most efficient electric vehicle on the market, and to be honest, it'd be the most efficient vehicle pretty much in production. So if Mercedes can achieve that, that would be awesome. Uh, so we should be seeing some more details of the Vision EQXX concept uh, in the coming days with CES, so keep an eye out for that one. Now the next one is a German luxury brand as well. This is BMW. They dropped out of being in person at CES just to due to everything with the pandemic, so we will be seeing some virtual events from BMW. Uh, BMW just recently started delivering the BMW iX as well as the BMW i4. Um, and so we should be hearing some more plans about their electrification goals in the coming year, as well as more details on these cars. So pretty exciting stuff from BMW. Now, the next automobile manufacturer on our list is a company that actually unveiled their first two vehicles at the Los Angeles Auto Show in November of 2021. And this is a company called VinFast. They are a Vietnamese manufacturer that is building solely electric vehicles and will be starting delivery in the United States at some point this year. What's super exciting about VinFast is that they were designed by a design house called Pinaforino, which is a famous 
design house for vehicles. So their vehicles are incredibly well designed and well thought out. So this is super exciting. Now, what's exciting to expect from VimFast at CES 2022 is that they are going to be unveiling their full lineup of vehicles here. So in Los Angeles, they unveiled the VE35 as well as the VE36, which were a uh, compact SUV as well as a full-size SUV. And we will be seeing three other new vehicles that are going to be hitting different categories in terms of automobiles. So this is super exciting, and I'm super excited to see what VinFast has in store for CES 2022. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out. I believe that this is going to be a virtual event and we will be seeing some more unveilings on January 5th. Now, the next automobile manufacturer on our list is a brand new company that is being unveiled in the United States for the first time. We have seen photos of this company online for a while now. It's a company called TOG or T-O-G-G. -G. They are coming out of Turkey and this vehicle is going to be super cool. It's a luxury SUV. And what TOG is going to be focusing on at CES 2022 is pretty much their e-mobility platform and the technology solutions they are going to offer for electrification. So we should be seeing some uh, vehicles at the CES 2022 from TOG. Um, I will include some photos so you can see what their SUV looks like. I think it is beautiful and I am super excited for this to hit the market. Uh, we should be expecting this to hit the market sometime in 2023, uh, but at CES, we could hear more information about their production goals. So the second to last automaker on our list is Hyundai Mobis. And now this is the auto, uh, the auto parts category of Hyundai Motors and they are going to be unveiling two different concepts. The first one, we have the M-Vision Pop, and the second, we have the M-Vision To Go. And now these vehicles, as you can tell, are concept-based vehicles. They are mainly meant for urban environments, and what's really cool about these concepts is that they actually have wheels that can rotate up to 90 degrees. That helps with maneuverability. And I think that's really cool. I think if Hyundai can make this go into production, I really think that this would help with tighter urban environments. So it's going to be exciting to see. What's also cool about Hyundai is that they are working and very determined to go fully electric. So I'm assuming that we will also see more news about their electrification goals. Um, we have the Ionic 5, which is now starting to be delivered. We have the Ionic 6, the sedan, and the Ionic 7, the full-size SUV that is going to be coming sometime this year as well as next year. Uh, so I'm expected to uh, see more details on Hyundai electrification goals, but definitely keep an eye out on their virtual events. Now, the last company on our list is Chrysler. Chrysler has been selling plug-in hybrids for a few years, but now as the industry moves towards electrifications, we are seeing more details on their electrification goals, as well as more electric concepts from them. And this year at CES 2022, we are going to be seeing more details of the Chrysler Airflow concept. The Airflow concept was originally previewed during the Stellantis EV Day and Software Day presentations earlier this year. While very little concrete information is known about the concept car, you can see that it is a four-door SUV with a swept rear pillars and curved roof line. It's not exactly a coupe style that we're seeing on electric, a lot of electric vehicles at the moment, but it's still a beautiful and traditional designed SUV. I'm pretty excited about the Airflow concept. Um, my grandpa used to work at Chrysler, so it's really cool to see Chrysler moving towards electrification. And I hope the Airflow concept definitely goes into production soon. Another part of their CES presentation is that they are going to be going into more details about their electrification plans for the next coming years. So we should be seeing more details and vehicles pinned out. So definitely keep an eye out for Chrysler this year at CES. Now to wrap up this video with part two on electric vehicle charging, since electric vehicles and charging pretty much go hand in hand, the technology is always improving and it's super exciting to see what these manufacturers are going to be unveiling. And just to give you guys a heads up, I did some research and I really couldn't find much detail on what was being unveiled this year except for two separate companies. Uh, so there's, I'm sure there's going to be more that's going to be unveiled this year at CES in terms of electric vehicle charging, but this is all I could find at the moment. So let's dive into the first company. So the first company on our list is known as Blink Charging. And if you don't know Blink Charging, Blink Charging has been around for a few years and they've actually installed over 30,000 charge ports internationally, which is super cool. Uh, they are an established network here in the United States and at CES 2022, we should be expecting to see a lot more technology from them. Uh, they announced that they are unveiling seven different products in terms of level two charging, as well as DC fast charging, as well as more connected mobile apps to help ease electric vehicle ownership for drivers, as well as fleet owners. 
And these products are gonna be more guided towards um, homes, fleets, multifamily housing, as well as retail space and more. So Blink is really working hard on releasing and innovating new technology to help ease EV ownership as we move towards electrification. So that's exciting to see from Blink. Uh, definitely be on the lookout this week for CES 2022 as they unveil these new products. And hopefully these chargers are going to be pretty powerful as we're seeing more cars charging faster every single day. So the last company on our list comes out of South Korea. This, so the last manufacturer on our list is an electric vehicle charging company out of South Korea called EVAR, and they are unveiling their EVAR EV Smart Charger here at CES 2022. Now, the EVAR Smart Charger is the first EV charger to receive CES Innovation Awards in two categories in the same year. This offers smart technology that allows to split one power source between five vehicles. Pretty much what that means is that power can be divided and shared to, through Bluetooth function built into the smart EV charger. It makes power supply more efficient and the charger can be installed up to five in a seven kilowatt grid. Uh, this is really cool because the charger is recognized as a product for making the most of limited power sources and reducing infrastructure costs by 80%. Uh, the awards that this charger has already won from CES is the uh, honorary in the smart cities and the sustainability, eco design, and smart energy categories. So this charger is going to be really revolutionary in terms of multifamily housing, parking garage, and other impl implementations where you will need multiple charging stations, but you might be limited on a power source. So that's really cool that it can split that between multiple vehicles. Um, I know as a homeowner and knowing the cost it, it took to install our EV charger on the side of our house, I really think that this could help eliminate those worries that a lot of EV owners have in terms of upfront cost of installation of chargers. So this is really exciting and I'm pretty excited to see more details of the EVAR EV Smart Charger at CES. Well, anyways, everybody, that's going to be it for today's video. Every single year, CES seems to get better as these manufacturers continue to develop and innovate products that help our lives improve. So I'm super excited to see what this year has in stores for these unveilings for electric vehicles, as well as improvement in electric vehicle charging solutions. Uh, pretty excited to see this. If you guys want more details, I'll include some links in the description below. As I mentioned, the event has pretty much moved towards more of a virtual focus. So definitely keep an eye out from those manufacturers if you are looking to attend those virtual events. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like and share with your friends. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to Everyday EV. Helps our channel grow and I definitely appreciate all the support. Well, as always guys, take care, stay safe and make everyday electrifying. We'll see you in the next one.